G'day, g'day, it's Thomas here from PC Guru Engines. This has been running from about three quarters full for probably a couple of hours. It's um, still warm rather than hot. Stick around, watch with me. Boxes from China always makes me happy if it's an engine, and this probably is the Musa M U S A H M zero one of the uh, initial run of a hundred. So let's get cracking. Let's get into it. Uh, Musa has a reputation of being um, perfectionist. This is this bodes well for us, doesn't it? Hopefully there's nothing bent here, it may have just been thrown over my fence. Not in okay, so it looks like the base and the uh, starting things are all sent separately. Well that's okay, I don't mind that. This is the, um, this is going to be the uh, ignition box. And here we have... This is straps for the box. They'll tell us how to do that in a nice big long piece of fuel. Um, and we might have instructions in here. Let's just check this out. Okay, we've got more parts here. This is a beautiful little fuel tank, really nicely made with glass sides. That is a special thing to see. It's gorgeously built. I'm very happy about that. It's also quite heavy. Okay, what else have we got here? Okay, and there's the ladder frame base. Again, it's just um, really beautifully made. Let's have a look at the wood. Well, I'm impressed so far. This reminds me of setting up the engine more hit and miss over here, I had to make a base for that. Musa. Electric pulse igniter. Lots of um, custom... Okay. Ignition, spare seals, starter. Scale drop lubrication. None of the other hit and miss engines we have have got uh, working lubrication there because although it looks like the engine more has, the engine more cheats because the piston doesn't come out as far as it does on a real one. And so the piston doesn't actually come out as far as this hole here, the skirt of the piston, but it does on this one. Look in there, you can see the piston there coming coming out so that's going to work um, these are a little bit narrower than the ones on uh, the engine more which makes for good scale um, the crank is uh, crankshaft here beautifully made the whole thing just looks beautifully made to me the um, the engineering on this on this wheel here, the, uh, my finger going over there. There's no um, lathe, you know, marks. Same with this. Almost looks polished. Okay. Carb looks nice. Conrod here. That looks like stainless steel or steel to me. It's not um, aluminium like this one over here and this one over here or brass like these ones. So far, um, just a real step up. Look at these big 
balls here fairly loose uh, the spring is fairly um, loose which it should be for the high wear parts in that governor mechanism the pins and the pin slots on the on there are steel just great to see spark plug yeah I haven't seen that brand before but it's um it looks really well made Musa logo. Just note that we don't need a hole in the front one because we have a hole in there. The screw is going to be undone and I'm going to turn this uh, poking down so I don't hit it when I'm trying to start that. To assemble you can see I've put a little notch in there for the ignition to go into. Um, I've uh, taken this out and we've got a notch in there for the ignition wire and a, not a hole there for the um, the high tension to the spark plug and the base. Where are you, base? The base of the base looks like that. So let's get that together. I found some black screws that match the holes. Here's what the underneath of this is looking like. Just put this uh, screw back in. Um, this hole needs to be down close to the bottom because remember there's this big rod here in the middle we're going to put the, uh, the plugs there spark plug goes out of the engine casting there the base and that's the bottom of the, um, the ignition box battery and ignition box I'm going to tighten all this up now This is a working hit and miss oil. I actually really like the parallel um, faces of the counterweight there. And for the first time ever on a model hit and miss engine from China, we have a counterweight in the um, in the casting. And this is aligned on both sides. See? So they're actually lined up the way they're supposed to be on both sides, which is a first. Um, a very discreet use of this kind of a um, centering holding on mechanism, self-centering um, holding on mechanism rather than a, a grub screw on the side. This uh, is better and that's very discreet there. It doesn't look out of place. The balls obviously in the single spring I love. This appears to interrupt the detent process so you will get a constant running engine or hitting and missing engine. So there's the wiring. You can see where I've put the holes in the bottom of the box and in that cross member. And a little hole up there on the um, on the mount. So I didn't get a battery holder and I didn't get four screws there. Luckily I have um, you know, I have a collection of black screws down there. So I need to um, plug this in, power it up, and uh, check the spark is sparking, and then we can put some fuel into it. I love how um, good that feels already. Yeah? Nice. You can hear the, the um, intake valve, intake valving. Um Paint, I would give it a 99 out of 100. I've seen a, t a couple of tiny little places where the paint has begun to come off. You can't really see it in these pictures, I don't think. That will be, what I've got my finger on, that will be the, um, the connector for the earthing wire. Smart place to put it on the head um, because the earthing wire is where your spark goes through. Um, I actually didn't notice that and I put mine down there. I made sure that that screw is cutting through the um, 
a little bit of paint there so it's it's grounding and I made sure that the underside of that screw head is filed so that it touches the power so we'll see if that works if it doesn't work I can put that on there and if it does work I'll probably take that off that's nicely attached the way you would expect got more um, relief logo um, look at the manufacturing over there We have a ball bearing on the cam riding, the cam rider, fantastic, excellent, I had to put one in on the um, engine more, but that's um, actually, let's put it beside the engine more. Here's a side by side comparison, you can see the um, engine more sits a lot higher, uh, I suppose because I've used large bits of wood there compared compared to that one but even so it sits it's, uh, it sits higher um, looks like I might be able to use the battery um, from that if I can cut that out of there battery tray just fits in there I haven't even had to tidy that up it's still pretty rough around the edges I just um, use this to cut the rest of the car away from that that's what we're going to use needs a little bit of a tidy up in there as you can see g'day g'day we're back again and i hope you had a good sleep internet i certainly did it's the next day and i've finished my musa hm01 build i'll show you the underneath for how i've laid out wires yep so we've got um, the ignition timing wires are the three at the top the middle one is the earth and the lower one is the uh, high tension to the spark plug which comes out down there right this lever goes under there to stop the detent going in and doing the hit and missing so that's going to be full uh, that's going to be the normal hit and miss operation this is going to be full operation you actually want that detent lever I can get this exactly on the side you can see that mine is um, on a you can't see very well mine's slightly on a down angle and I need to just get that up a couple of millimeters I want the middle of this to line up with the middle of that. This touching, this connection here, that's your spark point. And at the moment this is about 10 to 15 degrees before top dead center, which is fine if you want maximum power at maximum speed, but I want maximum power at almost stopped because I want this to be a demonstration hit and miss engine. Look at this wee beauty never had one of those to play with uh, it's exactly like the one of my big engine out in the garage you can put your oil in, in there yep that's your oil hole then you've got the adjuster And there's a little hole in the bottom that just unscrews if you want it to um, nice job really nice job lovely little detail to have on there everything everything looks pretty good here uh, it's nice to see this all made of steel rather than brass that's probably more wiggle than I'd want there but I, everything else is so good that uh, I think um, it's going to be fine. Out. The ignition turned out like this. This is from the toy car that I had, including the switch. I just didn't want to have to wait until, you know, have to drive and buy one of these things. But 
any any uh, recharge rechargeable or three battery pack like that's going to work just fine. Try and get this thing running. So we need oil, brass bushings here, and the main crank, which is great. Good to see, very good to see. And that looks like choke at the side. So the needle valve is here, choke is at the side. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on that thread. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm going to put my finger over the air intake here. See if we. Okay. See if we still got the spark. I right, turned the spark off. Let's turn the spark back on. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Miles, come have a look, man. Straight out of the box. Wow. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not bad, am I? That's really good. Right, let's do some. Um... Oh, too rich. So we'll just lean that off a little bit. Choke fully open, choke fully closed, choke fully open. Needle all the way shut there. Actually, it was way too open. So oil starting to get into thread here, and I'm starting to figure this out. Okay. So that's a quarter open there. I had it about two turns open. spring on here now yeah, uh, I think I need a bit more open on the old let's try that that's just really good really really good I think I've got that dialed in pretty well. Very, very even firing. I've now put water in the hopper because it is starting to warm up. There's a bit of oil on there that I put in the hopper first. Looking absolutely gorgeous. 
beautiful, beautiful engine and running so nicely. This one runs really well, but I had to replace so much. You know, there were springs, there was, oh, so much. You can see that in my other videos, the work I've done. But this one, really the only thing I wanted to do was adjust the ignition timing to top dead centre. So with the water in here, it's just kind of finger warm. Um, my oil is mostly drained away. from the top there just let a bit more in Okay, I'm going to show you a wee trick to slow this down slightly. I'm just going to... Without changing the spring, you can just pull these ends in a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can do that. I've just loosened that a little bit, it should run though. Very slight difference. Nice though. Actually, you get a bit of popping sound at that speed. Have you noticed that? Beautiful. I love the sound of these engines. I mean, I've got a lot of engines. And it has to be something pretty special to get me to buy it now. Well, this looked special. And with this running, I believe it is special. It's, I think it's undoubtedly the best hit and miss engine model to come out of China. And it's probably up there with the models from Mini Steam and uh, US suppliers. Not that I'm going to test one of those because I don't have a spare two or three grand US. Thank mm -hmm. you.